our kind of main, I guess, our tagline and kind of our creative rally cry is stories well told. But um, I just thought I'd kind of explain exactly what that means and try and give you a bit of insight into how we operate and what we do and why we do it really. So what stories well told really means is we search for the most interesting stories and tell them in the most interesting ways. And so really the kind of further articulation of that is we're a problems and solutions agency. Now that's far less sexy than um, stories well told, but it, but it is the reality. So, and I think just that last part on executions I think is really vital. I think that when we're particularly talking about, well, with my role internally uh, in digital, I think um, there is a predisposition for everybody to start thinking about a specific execution, whether it's an app or a website or whatever. And I think that's really uh, something that we actively discourage um, and we're thankful enough uh, or um, fortunate enough really to get uh, briefs in that are about issues and challenges with a brand uh, and we get carte blanche really to come up with the solutions attached or to solve those those issues and I think that um, while certainly you can come at a, a solution from an executional focus so thinking about how technology might solve it specifically I think the the, the best results are always when you think um, about the solution uh, and look for that insight and then work down to an execution as opposed to just automatically thinking about, yeah, shit, it's going to be an app, this is going to be, you know, or, or whatever, think about um, the kind of more holistically. So I think part of what I was going to do is really just quickly um, is run you through a project that we did for, uh, for Johnny Walker over in Korea. Um, uh, they kind of came to us really looking to uh, really kind of evangelize uh, the luxury whiskey market in particular, you know, luxury consumers. Um, with uh, you know for Johnny Walker really and, and it was a very traditional brief in some respects and and uh, what we came back with was something completely opposite so they were looking for um, ultimately they were looking for a, an above the line campaign or an ETL campaign and um, something more traditional so looking at press ads and TV adverts and those kind of things to try and um, connect with consumers but but ultimately what we came back with based on this insight really a new series of insights was uh, was Johnny Walker House, and so just to run through those um, within the within the I think within kind of general societal terms, we're looking at people um, kind of uh, disconnected from the desire to own specific things or physical objects, uh, and we're seeing the prevalence of the experience come through. It's more important now, specifically within luxury, um, that the that the experience is there within a brand, and people are able to experience the brand as opposed to physically owning it. So when you think about CDs and MP3s, it's just that societal shift towards the intangible to the experience. And so at the back of that, really, um, yeah, we we came to uh, yeah Johnny Walker House really um, as a solution for that issue and for that challenge. So it's a VIP uh, members only club. Uh, within, within Korea, within Seoul, and the narrative specifically, the, the liquid story, so the story of, of the, the actual whiskey, and the brand story itself is interwoven throughout the entire experience. So it's, doesn't, uh, it's, it's not designed for design's sake, it's actually telling a story at every single touch point throughout it. So even on the exterior we have uh, these triangles with a particular degree which is uh, I think 29 degrees. Uh, 24 degrees, um, which is actually, if you can see a bottle of Johnny Walker, is actually the same angle as the label on the front of it. And it's a small touch, but it does, I think, begin the whole piece around just how we weave the narrative and we weave the, the, certainly the brand story throughout the entire piece. So obviously throughout the, the whole experience, and um, there are a series of digital touch points. And again, they don't get in the way of that experience. They augment it, they enhance it. Uh, they don't feel forced. I think that's uh, another key aspect of working at an integrated agency as opposed to a digitally specific agency in that what you're looking at is, is the experience from the top line as opposed to coming up at it through executions. So with, uh, with the, this guy here in the background is a, a whiskey master blender. Um, and he basically takes uh, customers through a uh, kind of an education piece, a knowledge piece around whiskey. And so this is a, a kind of Microsoft surfacey type affair, which just really elaborates on that, that knowledge piece that he's going through. And again, it's not there to, uh, to outshine, but to enhance, importantly, the whole experience and, and take uh, whiskey novice to 
to whiskey expert, I guess. And so I think ordinarily as well, I think there's a, a predisposition to think about digital as an interactive piece, um, especially with, with what we do um, when it comes to experiential. But we're really talking about creating a, a, an immersive experience with uh, the, the houses and looking at every opportunity just to bring that liquid story to life in an interesting and engaging way that's in line with that is, is really the kind of opportunity that we had. And having said that piece around um, you know, technology for technology's sake, we did end up using lasers in the end. And uh, so this is a, a kind of a small piece, and again, in the same way that you would, uh, you would look at uh, laser etching your iPad, you'd allow kind of consumers to, uh, to laser etch their, their expensive bottle of blue label and then send it on. It's a small touch, and again, it doesn't interfere with the overall experience at the piece. And I think that's the, the kind of fundamental. When you look at um, digital and I think executions that sit around it, I think you've got to look at the, the challenges and the solutions as opposed to just doing technology for technology's sake. I think the biggest thing, and I think as modern either creatives or marketeers or whatever, I think you've got to, uh, you know, genuinely you have a responsibility to not look at gimmicks and not look at doing augmented reality or Oculus Rift just for the sake of doing it, just to have that on your CV or whatever. I think it has to have genuine impact for the brand because it's the only way that, it, that ultimately it justifies the money that you're going to spend on or your client's going to spend on it. But certainly, uh, yeah, when we're looking at, at certain aspects, there are, uh, yeah, kind of novelty aspects within this piece. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of touch on the Empower brief. It's really important, obviously, you're focusing on the, the hyper-connected consumer and their readiness for personalized, synchronized, multi-device communal omnichannel life both home and away and I tried to get more phrases in there but, but ultimately uh, yeah there wasn't enough space in the slide um, but really all that really is kind of saying I think is ultimately I think you need to be thinking about the consumer it doesn't necessarily matter about the brand because you're looking for a solution you're looking to solve a challenge that's within that context and that's looking at the contextual truth so you've got to search for, for what the issues are and how you solve them. You don't want to create a piece of ephemera, a piece of digital ephemera that's just going to be here one day and gone the next. You want to create real change and you have a chance to do that. And I think that's really important when you certainly when you look at um, looking at solutions and not executions. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Sorry, we always finish on cheesy, uh, cheesy endlines. But yeah, so I know that's really quick, but uh, yeah, I think that's it, top to bottom.